Hey, what's going on, dudes? Soul Drewsfer back here with more goddamn metal for your ass. He's got a couple of fucking pickups here. A couple of total goddamn bangers. <clears throat> One of these is going to be a band that I just talked about recently and did a, a little bit of a review on, but I finally got the fucking full length in. Came in from fucking Poland. Took goddamn forever. And, uh, kick this bitch off right from the top with Schizo Paranoic Platoon Subhuman Extinction. <laughs> And if you'll remember, this band is from Greece. This is what I just call death metal that borders at war metal. A lot of war themes. Uh, you see the gas masks, you see the fucking bullets. Uh, very goat penis esque, uh, uh, the death metal side of fucking war metal. This was released in 2019, and this is their only full length album. But not really, okay? So this thing is listed as being a full-length album, but really this is just a compilation of their work that combines the Global Condemnation EP, the No Trace of Human Life demo, the Hell on Earth demo, and the Schizo Paranoid Platoon demo, their original. So that's three fucking demos in an EP, so it's basically everything the band had done up until this point, uh, excluding a six-way split which had one track from the No Trace of Human Life uh, demo so full length not really even though it's listed as one but this is a great fucking buy if you want all of their early material on one disc some real raw heavy fucking aggressive material if you guys have listened to it after i mentioned it on that uh previous video i did on schizo paranoia platoon you'll know exactly what i'm talking about though so this thing if you can get your hands on this is basically everything you would ever need excluding newer release material and if you remember, I did a review of the Warfare Mass Annihilation EP, which was released after this. So basically, with just those two pickups, with this and the Warfare Mass Annihilation EP, it's basically everything that they've ever done to date. So with just two albums getting picked up by me, I have all of their shit. So really fucking nice. Uh, heavy, very aggressive, uh, anti-human well, I would still call this war metal, but it is a different type of war metal. So I can understand distinctions of people who are more into the bestial black metal side of war metal, which, you know, there's a fair argument to be made there that there is a subtle distinction, but there's definitely a distinction. This is more rooted in the death metal side of war metal. I would still call it war metal, but it's just on that side. So be for more. If you go in looking for blasphemy or you go in looking for proclamation, you're going to get more goat penis than anything else. And... I fucking love it, because Goat Penis is one of my favorite war metal bands. But Schizo Paranoic Platoon, glad to have this fucking thing. Again, it took a while, and it was also one of these things where they don't just deliver it, you gotta fucking sign for it, so I had to pick it up at the goddamn post office, and the less time I spend in that son of a bitch, the happier I am. But, anyways, I got the fucking album finally. Been jamming it, uh, really happy with it, and it fucking looks great, man. Inside open it up nuclear war equals solution no humans and you got like a mother and their child wearing a gas mask again guys very fucking war themed and just by the name alone schizo paranoia platoon kind of know what you're getting your hands on there but yeah they've done some other uh you know splits and stuff i know they did a split with goat penis i think i referenced that in the last video bring the elite to oblivion i believe is what that's called and uh just all their stuff so far has been really good I love these goat penis s bands and Schizo Paranoid Platoon. If you guys have not checked it out yet, give that fucker a spin, man. Good shit. And next up here, I've had this for over a week now. I bought it the day they did their live stream. Warp Red Touch the Skeleton in the Forest. And Fresh off the press is brand new release, 2024, I guess technically released last month, late into last month. But yeah, I was drinking, enjoying their fucking live stream that Revic and the boys did. Um, yeah, I, as you guys know, I've hung out with Revic a couple of times, real cool dude, uh, makes fucking great music, man. I'm not just saying this because he's my buddy, I actually really do enjoy the fucking music that he makes. And, you know, this is listed on Metal Archives as being a full length, I even saw on YouTube where this is listed as being a full length. But my understanding was this is an EP, a technically a two-track EP with some bonus rehearsal tracks. So 
I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong about that. That was my thinking whenever they were releasing this. I'm pretty sure Revic himself stated this was an EP with some rehearsal bonus tracks on it, but my understanding was that their actual full-length album is still in the works. It's going to be released via Goat Throne Records, perhaps later this year, I think is what they're aiming for. But you can go ask him more about that. I thought this was an EP, but again, it's listed. Uh, some of the people that have it up on YouTube call it a full-length. It's listed on Metal Archives as a full-length. So I'm not entirely sure at this point, but I thought this was an EP. Uh, but I am pretty sure whether this is a full length or not. I think it's an EP, but whether it's a full length or not, there's more material coming. They're still working on a full length album. That's my understanding. But the two brand new tracks uh, that are listed on this, the title track, Touch the Skeleton in the Forest, and Cemetery Without Crosses, both tracks are fucking great, in my opinion. Um, they explore a slightly different take on the Morton Red sound, which is really fucking cool. I like that they can kind of experiment and move things around a little bit while still sounding like what we all know with Morton Red. Um, with the title track, Touch the Skeleton in the Forest, I really like that chromatic ascension in the main riff. I guess you would call it their verse riff of the title track. And the chilled, almost laid-back approach to Cemetery Without Crosses, which I think that title also really fits the vibe overall of that song very well. And again, I just I, I like that they switch things up. They're not one-dimensional. They have a core to their sound, but you'll hear shit that has little bits of like punk and hardcore. The root of it seems to be all around black metal. But they also throw in a lot of real cool, dark atmosphere. It's just a very interesting band to listen to, and all the songs are enjoyable. I've never heard of all the releases, and at this point I have everything that they've released that I'm aware of. I, I never hear anything where I'm just like, well, this is just like that, or it's all just kind of the same thing where it all muddles together. Like All the tracks kind of have a, a personality and a character of their own, and I think that's really cool, and they continue that here, and it makes me look forward to the full length. Uh, as for the bonus rehearsal tracks, uh, My Hatred Burns is the first one, and it is a dirty, kind of like punkish track that's loaded with that Morton Red angst that I think we all fucking love. A bunch of crazy dudes getting drunk and just fucking having a good goddamn time. Uh, 15 Winners, of course, which has been previously released, but it's a great fucking track, and I think it sounds awesome with this rougher audio quality. All these rehearsal tracks sound really good with that kind of gritty fucking DIY approach to them, almost like we just set up a few mics in the room, and it's just, everything sounds really fucking cool, the vibe you get from that. And let's see, this is Architects of Fear, that was really cool, another real dark, atmospheric, slower tempo track that kind of morphs and bursts into an upbeat, evil number. And then, of course, their track, Hatred for Humanity. Uh, it's really awesome to hear this nastier rehearsal version of it. Uh, fucking guitars sound really nasty and dirty. Everything sounds really good. Uh, the the variety that you get to the madness while still staying true to the sound. I think that's always really fucking cool when bands can do that and pull it off and it feels legit. It doesn't feel forced. But that's all I got for you dudes for this one. Uh, Barry has sent me a link to the channel shirts. They fixed everything where you can even get international shipping. You can buy all of that off of eBay. So the shirts are fucking up there if you guys want a channel shirt. Me and him were texting last night. And it might work out. Uh, either I'll do it through him or I'll try to figure another way around it because I want to get some artwork done for it. But Iron Casket shirts. Because that new release that I am a part of, that split going on with that label in Germany, that, that should be released late April, early May, from my understanding. Uh, talking to the head honcho over there. And I will get some copies of that on cassette, and I will try to help anybody out who wants to get a hold of those. Uh, I won't have a whole lot of cassette copies, so they will definitely be limited edition. But... Look forward to that, man. That's all I got for this one, though. So, you know what I'm going to say next. Till the next one. Keep it goddamn heavy. Keep it fucking mean and offensive. Take no prisoners. Take no shit. Metal's supposed to piss people the fuck off. Blast some goddamn Morton Red. Some schizo-paranoid platoon. And until the next one. Later.